hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i have a massive collective book haul for you guys today these are all the books i've bought in the last month which is <laughs> so bad but let's just be honest buying books and reading books are like two different hobbies and i love buying books i think book shopping is literally the best thing ever so we're gonna do like a little rapid fire because there's a lot here some of these i've already read which you'll see in my February wrap up that I'm gonna be filming pretty soon because February is almost over, but let's get into it. <laughs> so first, I don't even know where we're gonna start. I'm just gonna randomly pull books off and that's where we're gonna start. So first book that I bought and I've already read is Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. This book was so good. I'm just gonna say that. It made me bawl my eyes out. It's so good. If you have not read it, you definitely need to read it because it is amazing. Next book I bought is Final Offer by Lauren Asher. I actually already read this one as well. It was so good. I love Lauren Asher. Lauren Asher is my favorite author of all time. So this book is amazing. If you have not read the Dreamland Billionaire series yet, you definitely need to. Then next book is Saving Six by Chloe Walsh. I cannot wait to read this series. I have not read the series yet, but this is the most recent book that came out. Um, this is the Boys of Toman series, and this is book number three. I'm so excited for this. I've heard such good things. They're big books. They're definitely long and the writing is so small. I don't know if you guys can see that. The smallest writing ever, but I'm so excited to read this. Okay, the next books I got are the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Mass. I'm trying to get into the Sarah J Mass universe. So I ordered the box set and I got the old covers because I don't know if this is unpopular opinion, but I do not like the new covers. So, oh my goodness. They got the Assassin's Blade. I think these are in reading order. I hope. Someone please let me know. The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, oh my goodness, I almost just knocked all those off, Queen of Shadows, Emperor of Storm, Z, Emperor of Storms, I can't read, <laughs> Tower of Dawn, and finally, Kingdom of Ash which this book is huge. I'm very intimidated by the series, even though it's a young adult. This book is huge, and these are in third person, so I'm very intimidated. Um, also, can someone let me know if I'm supposed to read Akatar or Throne of Glass first? Because I've heard either or, and I really don't know which to read first. So please let me know in the comments. <laughs> Speaking of Akatar, next ones I got are the Akatar series by Sarah J Mass. So I got A Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm so excited to read this. I've been wanting to read this series for so long. And then I got A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruin, A Court of Frost and Starlight, and A Court of Silver Flames. This probably is going to be on my TBR for March. Um, I want to finish the Shadow Me series before starting this, but I have been dying to read the Akatar series for so long, so I'm excited. Next two books I got are the Windy City series by Liz Tom Ford. I got Mile High, which I already read. I gave this five stars. I think I put this in my January wrap up. I love this book. I'm definitely going to reread it and tab it because I just loved it. I think it's such a good hockey romance. And then I also got The Right Move, which is the second book in the series. This just came out on the 7th of February. I'm so excited. This is actually basketball romance, which love. So, and I believe there's also fake dating in this one. So I can't wait to read this series or well, reread and then read. <laughs> Next book I got is Love in the Time of Serial Killers by Alicia Thompson. I have not seen this book that many places, but I saw it at Walmart and I read the back of it and I was like, this actually sounds really good. So I ended up buying it and I don't know, the cover's super cute too, which love. Everyone says don't touch a book by its cover, but like, come on. Next up, I ordered another series. This is the Twisted series by Anna Huang. This has been on my TBR for so long. I actually read Twisted Love like a year and a half ago and I never went on with the series so I'm definitely gonna reread Twisted Love but I got Twisted Love which is the first book Twisted Games which is the second book Twisted Hate which is the third book which I think I'm most excited for this one because I've heard it's like just a really good enemies to lovers and I love enemies to lovers and then I got Twisted Lies which is the last book which I think I'm also gonna really like this one I think my favorite of the series is either going to be Twisted Lies or Twisted Hate. Next, I ordered another series. This is the Chestnut Springs series by Elsie Silver. Actually, I already finished the first book. You're going to see this in my February wrap-up as well. This is Flawless. This book 
was so good. Oh my God, I love this book. Um, so Flawless and then Heartless, which is the second book. These are actually interconnected standalones. Like you don't have to read the series. You could literally just pick up one of these and read it. But obviously I suggest reading the whole series. So Heartless and then Powerless. And these are all set in a small town and they're just amazing. I, I cannot wait to read the rest of the series. I love it so much. Next book I got is Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. I have seen this book everywhere. Um, Sarah, who's on here, she always raves about this book. And Alice Feeney as an author. So, and I'm a part of her book club too. And so many people have been reading this in that book club. So I cannot wait to pick this up. I haven't read a thriller in so long. So I'm excited. I got The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. I am also very excited to read this one. I've heard really good things about Frida McFadden as an author and I just, I feel like I need to split up my romance after a while with thrillers. So I like always having a thriller on hand to read um, just so I can like kind of split up romance. Thank you guys so much for watching my little collective book haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely am gonna try posting on here as much as I can. I obviously, it's a little more tedious to post on YouTube than TikTok. So if you wanna see me every day, I post on TikTok every single day. So, but thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. If you feel like it, I would really, really appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day. Bye, guys.